Hey, what's up everyone? It's Americana Ninja here, and this is the source of Halo VR information. In my description, I have links to my Halo VR tutorials and the in-depth guide by Horizon, a link to the Flat2VR Discord, and I'll have text tutorials and links in my pinned comment as well. Please leave a like, drop a comment, and hit subscribe as it helps support me, and I appreciate it very, very much. Let's get into it. These amazing mods were created by Frontways Larry. You can download them for free on his Patreon. A link will be in the description along with his YouTube channel. Drop him a sub and show some support. These mods allow us to experience the original Halo campaign in a variety of new ways. Sprinting, wall running, flame rounds for the shotgun, first person view for the Warthog, controllable turret on the Warthog in third person, homing rockets, decreased vehicle collision damage, increased melee impact, Spartan NPCs, and an alternate ending where you have to not drive to escape the maw, but outrun the timer. All of this is playable in both VR and flat screen. I'll be doing a complete install of these mods which allows me instant access to any variation of the campaign. You can install and play one at a time if you choose. The complete install I'll be doing is around 33 gigs. Before we begin, this is important. If you are installing Movement Evolve to a Halo Refined folder, you'll need to copy and paste sounds.map and ui.map from an original pre-refined version of your Halo install. So to do this the easiest way, copy and paste your Halo Refined folder onto your desktop as the base for the Movement Evolved mod tutorial in this video. Next, open up your original Halo installation folder. You can reinstall and generate a copy if you don't have one. Inside the Maps folder of the original Halo, copy and paste sounds.map and ui.map into the Maps folder of your base Halo Refine folder on the desktop. Overwrite and replace all conflicts. Now your base Halo Refine folder is ready for movement evolved. Follow the steps in the tutorial from here. The simple explanation of the install is to create a copy of your Halo folder and rename it to the campaign you will be installing. Then move all dot maps of the variation you want into the map folder inside your copied Halo folder. Overwrite and replace all conflicts. You can then send the Halo.exe inside it to the desktop as a shortcut and rename it to run the game quickly. I will now show you what I did to quickly set up all variations. Extract the Movement Evolve download. Inside are six variation folders and an optional textures folder. In the first folder we have four variations we can create with the optional ending and no flame shotgun options. In the second folder we have two variations and in the third folder two variations. Four, five, and six all have only one variation. We'll be setting these up and then creating a variation of all of them that include the optional textures. I'll first be setting up the four variations for the first folder labeled complete. First create a new folder on your desktop and name it Movement Evolved Campaigns. Then go through and shorten the names of the mod folders so we can read them easier. Next, copy and paste your Halo folder to your desktop and rename it MEC, MEC for short and move it into the Movement Evolve Campaigns folder. Note, you can copy and paste your Halo folder to your desktop to quickly copy and paste it inside your Campaigns folder, renaming it inside the Campaign folder. Repeat this process, but rename it Mech Alternate, then move it to your Halo folder. Repeat this two more times, but add no flames in the name. Inside your Movement Evolve folder, we'll have our four variations ready to mod. Open mech and the first folder named complete, which has the alternate ending. Now copy and paste all dot maps inside, excluding the no flame shotgun into your maps folder mech, overwrite and replace all conflicts. Now open mech alternate and copy and paste the same dot maps along with the dot map file inside the optional ending folder. To make the no flame install quicker, I create a new folder inside complete and move the c20 and d20.map files into it, and then rename the no flame shotgun.map files to c20 and d20. Open mech 
no flame and copy and paste all dot map files into the map folder overriding and replacing all conflicts. Next, open mech no flame plus alternate and paste the same dot map files into it and then copy and paste the optional ending overriding and replacing all conflicts. Now we have our four variations of the complete folder. Create a new folder inside the Movement Evolve campaign folder and name it mech no FPV and move our four campaign folders into it. Now copy and paste your base Halo folder to your desktop or campaign folder and rename it mech FPV Warthogs and another as mech FPV No Flames. Now open complete FPV Warthogs and mech FPV Warthogs. Copy and paste all dot map files excluding No Flames. Overwrite and replace all conflicts. Now open mech FPV No Flame. Like before, create a new folder inside the mod folder and move C20 and D20.map files into it. Rename the noflame shotgun.maps to C20 and D20. Copy and paste all files into the map folder overriding and replacing all conflicts. We now have our two variations for first person Warthog campaign. Create a new folder inside your Movement Evolve campaigns folder and name it mech plus FPV and move both FPV and FPV no flame into it. You can delete the folders you've already done to help remove clutter. Now copy and paste your base Halo folder to your desktop or campaign folder and rename it mech no wall running and another mech no wall no flames. Now open mech no wall running and the mod folder complete no running and copy and paste all dot map files excluding no flames. Overwrite and replace all conflicts. Now open mech no wall no flames. Like before, create a new folder inside the mod folder and move c20 and d20 dot map files into it. Rename the no flame shotgun dot maps to c20 and d20. Copy and paste all files into the map folder, overwriting and replacing all conflicts. We now have our other two variations of mech no wall running. You can now delete the complete no wall running folder. Create a folder inside Movement Evolve campaigns and name it mech no wall and flame options. And move mech no wall and mech no wall no flame into it. Now the last three are simple with no variations. So copy and paste your base Halo folder into the campaigns folder and rename them. Sprint plus FPV, Sprint only, and FPV Warthogs only. Now copy and paste the dot maps into each corresponding folder. Overwrite and replace all conflicts. We now have all six folders and their variations created and ready to play. But now we want to create a variation of all of them that have the optional textures. So create a new folder inside your campaigns folder and rename it mech optional textures. Copy and paste all the modded campaigns into it. Open it up and open the optional texture pack folder. Now copy and paste the bitmaps.map file into each map folder of every campaign we created, overriding and replacing all conflicts. I have a small time lapse of myself doing this. You only have to copy once and just go to each map folder and paste. Congratulations! We now have all the campaigns and variations installed. You can add the Halo.exe inside whatever campaign you want to play as a shortcut on the desktop and rename it appropriately. I hope this tutorial helped with making the complete install easier and faster. I also have other tutorial guides for more campaign mods like Lumoria Refined and the Marine Campaign. Links will be in the description below. Definitely check those out. I'll be posting gameplay of these awesome campaigns and more, so be sure to subscribe and stick around for it. I also have more VR content and play Retro Games Live, which is a ton of fun. I appreciate all the support. Thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you for watching. Well, bye bye.